Hello, can Sharice come out to play? Yes, she can. She's just putting her shoes on. <laughs> Hi, guys. I need, I need a tripod. I am a tripod. I need a tripod or something to hold my phone up. I am. Um, I've had no sleep. I look it. Today, I am off with Miss Jigglepuff to go and do some charity shopping. I'm always on my channel like, you need to do this, you need to vintage that, you need to charity shop this, so let's go thrifting. Um, and I'm gonna take you with me today to go thrifting. Uh, like we say charity shopping in the UK, but you Americans have rubbed off on me and I keep saying thrifting now, so we're gonna go thrifting. I'm gonna see if we can find some bargains together. Sometimes our shops have nothing, they have absolutely nothing, and sometimes they have amazing stuff. Once upon a time, I found a overbus PVC corset in a charity shop. I have found new rock boots. I have found demonia boots. This is not all in one go. This is in like over the span of years. I found tartan trousers. I found so many good stuff that can be DIY'd, jazzed up, punked up, and I just freaking love it. So let's let's put this down so we can have a chat. Put you there. I've got something to show you. Someone gave me this which I think is really rude. Usually I'm, I'm very polite, so I'd be like, oh, no, thank you, no, thank you. Give it to someone that cares. How do you know I'm not a Christian? How do you know? Because my partner has long green hair, he's got loads of piercings, he's got loads of tattoos, and just ranting, oh, you look cute. <laughs> and he grew up in Papua New Guinea as a Christian missionary. I, um, I went to Sunday school all when I was a kid. I went to church, I grew up, going to church and Sunday school with my neighbours. Not my parents, but with my neighbours because my mum wanted to just get us out of the house on a Sunday morning. I'm one of eight kids. That's probably why she wanted to get us out of the house. I spent the six weeks holidays every year going to Bible camp. This is not a joke. This actually happened. So don't judge a book by its cover. We're having a nice day thrifting. Don't talk to me about Jesus. Look at Miss Jigglepuff's bum. What a woman. Ooh. Look, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall. Ah. My trousers. Vinted, look, these were thrifted off vinted. Let's do a little dance. That's it, I'm not going. I've got snot dripping from my nose. So, sorry, I'm ranting because I got a Jesus card. And it angers me. <laughs> I like taking the smile again. <laughs> yeah, well, usually I'm like, I, I'll, I won't take it. I'll go, no, thank you. But I was listening to music and I'm just, so I just... Oh, I'll put it in the bin. We'll be polite. Yeah. <laughs> They're just so soft. I was like, oh, you finally get to wear them. So stop. St. Oh, my God, that's not my angle. St. That's not my angle. Oh, let's just go in. St. Elizabeth Hospice. Done in. I've always wanted a red ball gown. I know. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's nice and warm. Oh, look at it. This makes me so happy. Try it on. <laughs> we found a sassy kimono. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Kimono. I mean, that's actually pretty cool. That is. Let me see the front. What's the front one? What's got the pocket? Look, Lamb pocket. Bar. Look, Polly oh. pocket. But this is more your style. Oh my god. That reminds me of Pretty Woman. Oh, really? Oh, it's got a dress. It's got a dress. Oh, it's a dress in it. Oh wow. Kind of want it now. Big mistake. Huge. <laughs> I have to go shopping now. Sharice has found a groovy chick bed set. How much do you think it is? Look at this. Do you remember this? I think How much is saying? I think this is my first email address. It's like groovy trick. Oh, yeah, like oh. something at msn.com. <laughs> How much? Four. No. What? Yeah. I'm in shock. Two quid. <laughs> I kind of want it. And I got my little pony. And my little pony. <gasps> That's only 150. Make a little dress out of it. I'm, I'm thinking like a 50 skirt. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to pretend we're on bargain hunt. £1.50 bed sheets. Any ideas? We're, we're stuck. So, look, like, we're guessing truckers are racing. Like, they get muddy and they dock up. They dock up. <laughs> they dock they dock up. Up. We're, we're confused. <laughs> HR for docking. Oh, human resources? human resources? Dirty human resources? Yeah. That doesn't feel right. <laughs> I found these little rats. I think they're mice, but Violet loves little rat things. So I'm going to get this for Violet. 
and it's 99p. We'll pretend it's a little wrap. Where's her tail? She doesn't have a tail. One pound. How annoying is this? Bedward looks so cute, but he doesn't wear sleeveless tops. So, first shop done. Um, I got a little rat. Sharice got some awesome bed sheets that she's gonna make it. How much were they? 150. She's gonna turn them into a skirt or a dress. Amazing. Reduce, reuse, recycle. So we're now off to Mind, some here, somewhere here. Mental health charity shop. I used to work in this charity shop many, 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 many years ago. And I always got first dibs of all the good shiz that go in. Oh, it's a poppy plate. Look at the giant thing. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, wow. Fit a dead body in there. Or an alive one. Princess Diana outfit. <laughs> that jacket just told me there was three in the marriage. <laughs> Leopard print. It's tiny bits. Oh my gosh, what size is that? That won't fit me. Oh, that's a shame. That's really nice. Have you ever wanted a top with owls on it? It's a hoot. Oh my god, I love that. Oh my god, I actually love that. Per Una. Per Una? Una. Yeah, look at the back, it's so cute. With some pins on there. The pockets, are they actual pockets? Oh yeah, you just need to undo this. The stitch is not even going to be done. is being peer pressured. <laughs> Any money in the pockets? No, this one with a print on it. Oh, that's nice. Sassy. S sassy jacket? I actually love that. That's amazing. That colour is beautiful. It's, nice, it? it's like a Joker jacket. It is. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> that's so nice. <gasps> shoes. Look at all these shoes. Oh. Oh. oh, my hair's in the way. Oh, they are cute. Don't really wear flat shoes. What are they? Oh, I saw this bit. I thought they were new rocks, but they're not. <laughs> a fanny pack. Proper vintage, like old leathery. Hey, from the skin of people who tan too much. <laughs> they become leather wallets or bum bags. <laughs> Genuine fanny. <laughs> Ice skates. What? Sharice just found Iron Fist shoes. No way. Fifteen quid. This is why you need to charity shop. Shape a bra. Or shape your boobs. I've always wanted to wear these around my house. Try them on. They don't fit me, they're like, they're size 7. My boobs aren't even that small. Get your nipples in there. Get one. <laughs> Help, she's trying to convince me to buy a cape. She needs one in her life. I have a cape, but it's a little It looks like Cruella's cape if she wore it. And it's the best one ever because you don't get too hot and it's got pockets still. It's amazing. I think you'd make a nice redhead. Leatherface realness. <laughs> That's actually really nice. What have you found? Oh my god! No way! It is this flask on top too! Oh my god! Girls World! That's what I'm tempted to do. Go on, convince Miss Jiggle to buy Girls World. You can be a hairdresser. It looks like Christina Aguilera. Look. <laughs> Mama Lord! <laughs> she found another cape. And we found a, a gothic -y wedding dress. Look at that. And she's found a crab drink. I don't have crabs. I went to the doctor, thanks. <laughs> Look at this. It's kind of, you can't really tell, but it's royally olive oil. <laughs> Tonight we go to battle. The salesman in here is good. He's just led me. He came over and went, Are you cough? So, no, sir. Um, he's just led me to a basket of hen pea organza ribbon. It's like, I don't even know what I'll use it for, but sir, it's tempe. Quite a little haul here, so look at that! Oh my god, a giant cat! I've, n I've never seen someone turn around so fast! <laughs> look, see. This is a little spoop! I've never had a teapot in my life. Maybe today's the day I change that. She's looking for her, her royal family merchandise. I'm not a fan, I just... A fanana? I like to <laughs> <push it. laughs> Charisse loves Prince Charles. Or it's King, King Charles. <laughs> I bring you a toaster. 
I bring you, I bring you a sleigh hat and my paper round bag, and I bring you a newspaper. Don't touch the newspaper. Sorry. <laughs> do, do, do. Got a jacket, got a, a ribcage necklace, got some old tenthy organza. Sharice got this amazing little froggy bag. Oh, swimming. How cute is that? I'm a frog. <laughs> Rabbit. That's how I walk when I go to the pool. Right? <laughs> Ipswich Outreach next. I've never been in this one. I didn't even know it was here. Ooh. Ooh, sorry. This is like Narnia, this one. Yeah. You have a weakness for velvet curtains? Yeah. I'd heard. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbo. Oh my god. What is this? Oh, it's a gift bag. I thought it was like an a, you know, original picture or something. <laughs> Oh no, it's a puppet! It's a puppet! Beetlejuice vibes. Really interesting. How much? £7.50. Fiver. Fiver? Fiver. If it wasn't gold, I'd probably get it. I don't, I don't do like bronzy gold. If that was silver, it'd be so much better. Mm. I'm a picky bitch. I can show you the world. <laughs> We're gonna get chucked out of these shops. <laughs> Eric! Eric! Oh wow, you could be your own little DJ. You better work. I mean, she looks pretty, pretty far. That looks really uncomfortable though. Girl, let's just fix this. We've got to see. There we go. I swear if you blink, I'm gonna shit myself. Life's what you make it. Hang on. We know what you make of it. Red flags! flags. Oh my god! <laughs> Filthy Philip, filthy. So that shop was a bit of a dud. There was nothing really in that one. Do you want to do this one and then get food? Yeah. Okay, we're slowly making our way to food. <gasps> Cancer research. This one usually has some good stuff in it. Little rat cards or mouse cards. <laughs> oh yes. Halloween is every day. This is a long hot water bottle and it's the best thing ever. Nipple candles. <laughs> I'm making a try on a Princess Diana dress. We need some iconic Princess Diana quotes. Charles is a dick. Camilla can suck mine. Oh, that actually really suits you. Elton, darling. Elton, <laughs> kind of my wedding. I mean, that actually really suits you. <laughs> you look really rich, like a real housewife. I am rich. I've got two pounds in my purse. <laughs> real housewives of Ipswich. <laughs> what would your tagline be? What did you say? I haven't got worms, I've just got piles. <laughs> Found like a morticiary dress. It's got a really big split up it as well. Really cool. Black velvet. There's lots In the little there. boy's mouth. Oh look, very dumb and dumber. Miss Boy with the tags on, that's how <gasps> shit the clothing is. Oh, look, they didn't even wear it. Oh, there's a happy cow. And here's a happy cow. That really suits you? This is amazing. Look at this. Ask about gift date. No, I want to ask about this jacket. It doesn't have a tag. I'm just feeling up this mannequin. <gasps> There's a tag. Okay, it is six pound. Oh, okay. This one's I'm cool thinking well. about it. <gasps> oh my god, I love that. What size is that? Because I've. That is this. It's just as small. Ten. Okay, I'm gonna try these on. Oh, it's a bit small. <laughs> oh my god. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Can't do it up. It goes with the long sleeves on as well. Yeah, we need to buy that. That's adorable. Thank you so much. So if I had that, <laughs> I would say. We'll try this one on. Put it in a bow stitch. Oh no, my hand. Help. So um, help. <laughs> no, seriously. This fits really nice, actually. I might get this as well. But help. <laughs> oh, there's a hole in it. Yeah, that's they better. This is literally the best freaking charity shop trip ever. I don't know about this. I was only going to get it because it was PVC. Oh, okay. I can't. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, this is really tight. Oh, I think it's because it's stuck. Hang on. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's it. There we go. Okay, I think I'm going to leave so this. Just because it's thick. Can you pull this off? Yeah, sure. <laughs> pull me off! 
<laughs> so, right, put it back. This one's 10, but it's all ripped. The lovely lady said I can have it for five pounds. And this one is incredible. A little bit small, but I don't care. And it's six pounds. This never happens. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Alright, and love. You take care, Paul. Yes, yeah, so. Yeah. Is it this one? And you. <laughs> it is half past 12. There's a big clock above me. That's how I know that. I'm not Mystic Meg. We're going to go get some food. Do you want to get spoons? Yes. Cheap and cheerful, whatever spoons. This is like the best charity shop trip I think yeah. I've ever had so far. Not all charity shop days are as eventful as this, but I can't believe that I vlogged today. Up here, I've got hair in my mouth. Sorry. <laughs> when the sun's on my face, it makes shows up all my pores and everything. It looks horrible. That's what I about my I believe I've got two jackets. I've been after a leathery jacket to match my skin um, <laughs> for a while, so I can put pins and um, so I can put spikes all on it. Because, oh, that's what hands. Sorry, <laughs> my arm's aching. <laughs> There's a Killstar jacket I really want that's £300 and I've got oh, not, it's faux leather and I wouldn't support Killstar for £300 anyway, but it's really similar to that jacket. Plain black with spikes. So I'm just gonna make my own. And the faux furry cuff one is so clueless 90s, it needs to get in my wardrobe right now. Swap out. We are marching to Weber Spoons. We're off to see the wizard. Look, that panini is calling my name. I've been dreaming of a halloumi wrap. <laughs> Not a joke. Yeah, we're gonna go get some lunch, have a chill, have a gossip, have a sit down. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Teresa's little swim bag. Where I see what's inside. It's got a little lizard on it. Oh, look, it's tush. Or Does similar. anyone else know the dum 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 frog song? Frog song. That's what I was trying to tell Emily. <gasps> Free carrier Free bags. Carry we paid for carrier bags as well. <gasps> that's and it's waterproof. Like, yeah, that's perfect. That's friend. what I thought. It reminds me of like when my mum had when we used to go swimming on a Thursday night, and you put like your shampoo, your conditioner. But for me, when I go sauna and steam room, I like to have a little body scrub discreetly. So I take my little bag, and then I get my flannel out. That's perfect. Yeah. Cute. <sighs> What's the name? Oh, so someone's name? Sarah Hines. Sarah Hines. Sarah Hines. Thanks for the froggy bird. Everyone talks about the price of Freddo's for inflation costs, like to see how much things have inflated. Let's talk about the Weatherspoons three for ten. Yes. Three for ten. Look, now it's three for fourteen. <laughs> 93, nearly 15 pounds. Where's the free for 10? Mr. Freddo would not allow this much inflation. <laughs> Weatherspoon's halloumi wraps are so freaking good. Look at that. All that cheese. <laughs> I got extra halloumi fries as well. Call me the halloumi goddess. And Sharice's little boneless chicken box basket. Oh, that's spicy. <laughs> You can have a spicy bum hole now. <laughs> Match my hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> food delivered, delivered, food devoured. We are now off to some more charity shops. I've got to finish my apple juice. If I paid for it, I'm not leaving it. So we're off for a few more charity shops. See what bargains we can find. Little pigeon, I hope you know how much I love you. Like, look at, look at, look, look how. Look how happy they are. Okay, so we're going in Tower Rampart, sale makers now. HMV, how are they still going? I've actually got some cool stuff in the window. Check this out. They actually have lounge fly bags. I have, I don't have this one. I have the purse of this one. I want the Michael Myers one, that's pretty cool. They got some good stuff. <gasps> Fat Pikachu. That's $7.99. It's not in a charity shop though, so we can't buy it. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Oh, this one's gone. But don't worry, Edward's moving in. So that's great. Glad he's found a shop. But we found one downstairs, another charity shop. So we're gonna go down there. Ooh. Ooh. 
they scare the shit out of me. I like the shiny things. <laughs> Charisse is like, shiny! <laughs> this dog is cooler than I'll ever be. Oh, look. These look like things you'd like. Barnardos. Barnardos. Let's go. Barnardobus. Oh, they're closed for lunch. Oh. <laughs> That was good timing. <laughs> she's just finishing her lunch. Um, oh, she's locked us out. She's like, we don't want you in here. Get your kind out of here. You like shiny things. Shiny. If you look carefully, you can see a reindeer has eaten this lady's head. <laughs> <laughs> We've decided that that one's too expensive for us, even though it's closed. <laughs> so we're, we're going to find another one. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Welcome to Ipswich High Street. She's scratching her bum. Pull <laughs> them up because they're really high at the front. Yeah, my yeah. So big. Have a sniff of your hand. <laughs> this is our high street. It's it's pretty busy to be fair. Like it's it's been completely dead for a long time. But it's looking a bit busier than usual. So. <gasps> that underwear set is amazing. That set is gorgeous. Oh, there we go, the green one. We're on the main high street now. There's lots of charity shops down here. One below. See, America have five below. We have one below. One below. One below. Like, it's, it's not even open. Yeah, that can even survive here. Do you want to have a look in there? No, because I'm going to manage to spend it. I know. I like when they have a sale online. They just pounce on you. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do some nice stuff for that. I mean, that. Oh, that smells so good. The hunt continues. We just walked past Lush, so at least we smell nice now. But we don't go in because they pounce on you and we're cool. Today on more shops you should avoid in Ipswich. I actually love just essentials um, for like hair dye and everything, makeup, love it. Not for this. Do not go here for this, ever. Go to a proper piercer, guys. So many uh, around Ipswich that like Claire's and Super Drunkers piercing as well now. Accessorise. Yeah, yeah. Do we have an accessorise? I don't know. I thought we lost it. Accessorise these. Oh. We're gonna get run over. That's miles away. That's not miles away. That's smushy distance. That now we can cross. Have some sense, woman. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Oh my god, what? How dare these volunteers have lunch? <laughs> is there one down this way still? I don't know. Oh the Emma's is up there. Should we go to the Emma's? Everywhere's on lunch! You stick this finger where you'll regret it. I won't regret it. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to the charity shop, but anything that's on, don't mind. Mine will just be my bells. We found Samaritans, but it looks like it's closed. <gasps> it's open! It's open! And that looks so comfy. <gasps> oh, that's so nice. Little James. Pound. One pound. One band. Like they're fat people. They're what? The fat people. <laughs> fat people juice. They are. I can get them. I've got to customise the shit out of them. One band. One band. Look, another Princess Diana jumper. Oh, I think that's a bougie for her. It's more Beyonce. <laughs> Comment below, is this more Beyonce or Princess Diana? <laughs> Please get them. If they're a pair. If they're a pair. 250. Oh. I think I could not. I don't think that would fit me. Because mine goes right up here. <laughs> so I get this pam <laughs> We're just finding Diana? Princess Diana clothes now. <laughs> um, I found this jumper. It's like it's a cardigan. It's quite nice. I have to learn to say no to things. Rump. I look like this snowman. <laughs> thank you. Would you like to have a thank you. Bye. A cow! I didn't see that! Tales of Beatrix Party. Oh, oh is it the oh, idea? Beatrix Party! Oh, David Jason. <laughs> we're seeing all the good stuff now we've left. She got one pound jeans. Just saw a cow. Violet loves cows, by the way, so. This is also the mental health cafe. You can drop in and get advice and stuff like that. Wow. Up near the entertainer. Sorry. Past the Great White Horse. So, entertainer, Great White Horse. Mental health cafe if you ever need someone to talk to. And I also recommend the Samaritans, but I just got me one pound jeans. Listen to I this get woman. Two pound, I'm nice. She knows. Oh, look, there's my best friend Vishesh works there. He saved my eyes. I think he's also the one that did my eyes. Is he, he's, yeah, a, he's, he's, a, he's a godsend. Yeah. <laughs> just pop into Upper Terran. 
We don't even talk like that. Why is that on the on the We say uptown. Town. Not upper town. We say cutba though. Cutba. We want a cup of tea. Upper town. I don't we don't say town. that's bothering me. I think that's what the footballers say. Towin. Football fans. Upper town. Upper Do town. we? We are dog friendly. Can't really see it. Vans top? Wow. Princess Diana, Beyonce, Avril Lavigne. <laughs> Five pounds. Five pounds? Fabulous, fabulous. Did you see it? <laughs> Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Now look over there. <laughs> Is it for sale? <laughs> Like re reignite my sex life. <laughs> Who donated a young blood? Cut out. I'm gonna take a selfie with him. I've got to get. I've got to get through. Bye. Dog oh, smile. I can't get the angle. <laughs> I love me chicken trousers. That jacket. So Dolly Parton. I need it. Working nine to five. I found a black rail. This is where I'm gonna be. Yeah. More PVC. Oh my god, this isn't my size, and I'm sad about it. Emily. <gasps> oh my god. I might have to get that because I'm going through Spice Girls revival. Yeah. It's I a think. medium as well. I can wear that over a I'm, mesh top. Or I'm, 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 that's coming home with me. To go with my new Spice Girls top. <gasps> Look at that. It's like black and red. There's so many gothicy casual clothes on this rail. If you're in Ipswich, come here. Little nipper. I don't even know what that is. Oh, look. He's hiding from grandpa. Grandpa's hiding from him. He's hiding from slug cheese. Look at this gorgeous corner. It's vintage, darling. It's vintage. You could come and have a little photo shoot in here. How beautiful. I have these shelves too. Do you know who that is? Um, Timothy Shalemelemele. Shalemelemele? Yeah. Shalemelade. <laughs> Harry Styles. That's Harry Styles. I thought this said Mr. Slut. <laughs> it's Mr. Silly. Silly. Oh my god, this sofa is amazing. <gasps> She's found a sofa. Ooh. Oh, it's comfy. I've got a really bad back and I need to change my sofa. I thought she was joking, but she's actually trying to buy this sofa. So I'm dead. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave her to it. Look at this cute skirt I found. It's not my size, so super cute. I did find this quiz though, and it's angering me. Kids versus adults. So I was I was gonna get this for Violet because we love little family games. This is the kids question. Which 2015 animated film features the voices of Rihanna and Jennifer Lopez? The answer's home. These are really difficult. Are you buying the sofa? I think so. Oh my god. Get the money aside for a new sofa. The one I want, and the corner one, is like 600 pounds. So I'm about a year away from being able to afford that. 125 with the chair. I mean, that is really cheap. And it's like new, isn't it? I love it. Bounce test. Quite nice. That's good. It passes. Look at this. <laughs> This is so nice. This is the most Charisse sofa ever as well. Reserved. Okay, one more. So we're gonna go back into scents that were, they were on the lunch break, see if it was worth coming back. Oh, that's really cute. I used to wear this stuff all the time, yeah. like black and white kind of emo-y. Oh, like Dalmatian print was my jam. That's actually really nice. It's kind of like a maiden style. I like it. <gasps> we should have counted how many dungaree dresses we've seen. At least five. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, that's cute. Oh, yeah. Don't like the bottom of it. No, you've ruined it. Oh, Lady Di? We need to add Timothy Lemonade to the mix. And Harry Styles. <laughs> and Harry Styles. Harry Styles. That is Harry Styles. There's some little tights and little flats. Ah, <laughs> oh, why are you not plain black? I like it when they're all in like colour order. It makes it a lot easier. Oh, look. Very cute. 
We haven't really found any ugly shoes. You usually yeah, get some kind of. Oh, oh my god! Speak I'll of the speak devil. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at them. Although, Harry Styles. Harry <laughs> if these were black though and they had like a platform, yeah. I would probably wear them. I really want to get some thigh high demonias, but because I'm short, they'll go straight up to my fanny. So I'm catching juices at my fanny. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <gasps> Where's Wally? See, look, like, when I first met Ben, this is the type of stuff that I wore. That's terrifying. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Sorry, I was just Joel coming. Millichip. Joel Millichip. Yeah. I was just coming to say goodbye. You've got to see this street art. How amazing is this? He's a really good artist. This is so cool. He does really good, like, plus size ladies as well. Okay, so. I got two bags full. Reese has a big a bag, bag full. A bag. I forgot about your sofa. <laughs> a bag and a sofa. We're gonna go get some cannolis. I'm gonna take Cherie home, get a taxi home, and then I will sit down and show you everything I got and say goodbye. <gasps> I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> I'm home. I am exhausted. Today has been such a long day. I look like I feel, okay? Today has been so, so much fun. By far, the best charity shop was Emmaus. Emma I don't know how you pronounce it, Emmaus. If you're in Ipswich, it's opposite B&M. But I got some great stuff. And, and my friend got a freaking sofa. We were not expecting that to happen. We go out for dinner. We go out to get some charity clothes. She comes back with a sofa. Welcome to my friends and my life. I do have to stress though that not Every charity shop trip I do is as eventful as this. I got some really good stuff and I'm gonna run through and show you everything I got. This was actually probably the best charity shop trip I have ever done. And it just so happens to be the only one I have vlogged. Yay, the YouTube gods are, are helping me. Let's see if they continue to help me by actually telling you I have a video or if they hide it like they usually do my content. When I go out for these charity shop days, even if I don't come back with anything, which does happen quite often, I still have a really good time with my friends. We don't purposely go out to buy stuff. We're not like the Depop girls that go out look for stuff to sell on. We go out and look for stuff to keep for ourselves. And we always have a good day. We always have a good time. And Sharice and I had such a laugh today. High freaking 10, high 10 to my sofa loving girly Sharice. I will pop her Instagram in the description below. Please give her some love because honestly, she is a doll and she's like the light in a room of darkness. I intended to DIY the stuff I bought today. I thought I would get like lace, mesh, jeans. There's always jeans in charity shops. And I was planning to do a DIY video showing you how to DIY what I got, but I don't need to because everything I got, I'm gonna wear as I bought it because it's, it's ready to wear for me. And I left that PVC Bolero in Cancer Research if you're in Ipswich, I mean, it's probably gone by the time this video goes up, but check it out. It might still be there. Okay, let's run through what I got. Oh, I forgot I got this. It's been a long day, guys. And I haven't tried anything on, and you can't really take stuff back to a charity shop. So if, if things don't fit me, I'll either stick it on Vinted for the same price I bought it for, or I will donate it back to a charity shop. I, I don't buy charity stuff to sell for profit. Um, that's just not my jam. I got this really nice velvet, uh, vel I was gonna say velvet leather. Really nice velvet blazer jacket. I just realized it's got three quarter sleeves, which makes me love it even more. Because I actually bought a velvet jacket from a thrift store when I went to America and I got it home and it was, I can't remember, it had paint or something on it. Something that I didn't realize at the time when I bought it. So I've never worn it. Um, I think we, I think I ripped it up and used it for wrap bedding or ferret bedding or something. So I've been after one since, because sometimes I wear like little nice black dresses and rather than wearing a big bulky jacket or a faux leather jacket, I want something a little bit classier. Um, so I have been planning to look for a, bl a velvet blazer and I just want to put pins on it. I might even put patches all over it. Everyone does 
battle jackets in denim or leather. Like, I might try a velvet battle jacket. A battle blazer, if you will. This was... How much was this? Six pounds for mind. We're gonna keep a tally. Where are we gonna? We're gonna put a tally down here. Six pounds is my total for today. Bargain hunt. It's got a little uh, bow at the back. It was originally from Per Una, Per Una, Per Una, uh, which I think is m and and it would not have been six pounds at m and well, Might have been sixty, but yeah, just a really nice black blazer very casual piece these patches are from tooth x nail i'm obsessed with these at the moment i got them from their etsy and this was a plain black beret and i just jazzed it up completely with these patches so i'm probably going to get some more of these style um to sew onto this um i got a piece of organza simply because it was 10p i don't know what i'm going to use this for probably just to hang around my room somewhere 10p this was in mind charity shop so if you're in ipswich they had absolute loads at the back of the shop check it out you can make ribbons bows like you can make a big fascinator out of that look stunning oh i forgot about this holsh holsh skedade necklace for one pound 25 look at that it's like a rib cage necklace look, oh. I'm just gonna say I will so wear that. Of course I wear it. I bought it. Um, I don't expect it to last very long. It's from Tiger. It's probably gonna go coppery really, really quickly. It doesn't have an original price tag, but there's probably a lot more money in Tiger. This was the little—I think it's a mouse, but I'm gonna call it rat. It was a little rat that I got for Violet. She's a bit dirty, so I am gonna give her a bath before I give it to Violet. Um, Violet loves like China dolls not dolls china china figures she's got loads in her room she's got like owls like creepy little old lady things like this she loves her and ben go to car boot sales quite often and she either comes back with giant cuddly toys or weird little porcelain figures like this it had 99p on the bottom but it has which i thought it was i thought it was 99p but it was actually 50p super cute little ratty mouse babe for my babe next i got from a mouse a mouse this was two pound fifty spice up your life i'm going for a spice girls revival i've got my green fur jacket i have i'm just i'm loving spice girls again at the moment and um yeah i could not resist this little spice girls crop i will probably wear this with high waist i mean i've got like I don't know if you can see checkered -y, half checkered, half black trousers, which I got from Vinted. I would probably put it with this um, and a long mesh top and it is crop top. So even if I don't wear it out, it's definitely something I would wear for bed. <laughs> you wake up in the morning, you got one tit hanging up this way, one tit out this way. But £2.50 and it is official Spice Girls as well. Official Spice merch. I can't believe someone would give this away. I mean, I'm so glad you did, but I can't believe you did. Spice Girls. Which Spice Girl were you? I was always um, sporty. Although I wanted to be Ginger Spice so freaking much. I put a sign on my bedroom door that said Jerry Halliwell, um, but I spelled Jerry wrong. I spelled it J-E-R-R-Y. I know, it was on my bedroom door and I just wanted to be Jerry Halliwell. But then I decided I was more sporty spice because I had long brown hair. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. And then the last two things I got, faux leather jacket, which does have a big rip in one of the sleeves. Look there. It's no biggie for me to sew it up. Um, but that's no trouble at all. This fits me so well. I don't think I've ever had a jacket fit me so well. Copper Rose, no idea where that's from. This was labeled as 10 pound, but I was I was vlogging and I was telling you guys that there was a hole in the seam and the little lady heard me and she was like, she looked really angry. She was like, what? There's a hole? In I think she thought I had made the hole because she was like, if there's a hole in it, we can't sell it. And I was like, oh, but I really, I really want it. I'm happy to sew it up. Like, I really want the jacket. I, 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 it doesn't matter that there's a hole. I, I want the jacket. And she ended up knocking off five pounds off it for me. So I got a cute little biker jacket. 
Oh, it's missing some straps. I didn't realize that. But hey, I'm not fussed. Um, oh, it's got a strap there, but I probably won't do that up. Oh, it's got one strap. It's just missing the other one. So I'll probably take that one off. But, but it's really, really cute. Um, but I got this for five pounds, labeled as 10, but it was ripped. So she gave it to me for half price. Five pounds, little black faux leather biker jacket. I already have a faux leather biker jacket, um, but it's really, really, really old. And faux leather, you know, it sounds great, but it is ultimately plastic. And all the faux leather on my one has peeled off and started cracking. So I don't tend to wear it anymore just because it looks absolutely crap from the back. So I'm so happy to have another one to start my journey again. And last but not least, I got my killer, killer, killer find of the day. I have been after a jacket like this for so long. I bought one ages and ages ago and it came and it ended up being a little bit baggier than I wanted, so I never wore it. I was off, because I'm so sure, I wanted a cropped a one. I didn't actually see it. Cherise saw it and, you know, it doesn't quite do up. It's a little bit small for me, but it's fine. I'll wear it undone. I love this. No wonder it doesn't do up on me because it's labeled extra, extra small. It fits me everywhere. I am not extra, extra small. It fits me everywhere, it just doesn't do up. So I don't know if it's supposed to be oversized, but that gives you an idea of how messed up women's clothing sizes are. But this is absolutely freaking beautiful. This is so 90s, so me. I've been after this, literally, this is so long and I'm so happy. This is my big, biggest, happiest, bestest find of the day, of the year, baby, of the year. And it was six pounds. Bringing today's total, if I have added this up on this bit of paper correctly, to a grand total of 21 pounds and 35 pence. I spent 21 pounds and 35 pence on three jackets, a mouse, a rat thing, some organza, and a necklace. Was that everything? And I had a bloody good laugh with my friends and we got lunch. But it's been the best day. And I, I my everything I spent, that money went to charity. It saved those clothes from landfill. Everything got a new lease of life. Just because someone else didn't want it anymore. Bitch, I love it. I'll wear it. I'm going to wash it. I'm going to try it on first. <sighs> I hope no one's pissed on them. I, I'm freaking chuffed. I'm freaking chuffed. I would have spent more than that alone. <laughs> On, now I love my Vinted, but I would have spent more than that on a jacket like this on Vinted. Now I know charity shops vary greatly, very greatly from where you are. Um, this is just Ipswich and this was literally just today. Like I said, every other day I've been out charity shopping, I come back with one, maybe two pieces, and they're usually not as good as this. Um, I did also find the PVC Bolero and the PVC bodysuit, which weren't unfortunately my size, but Hey ho, use your imagination. I highly recommend you charity shop. Um, it's a fun day. And even if you go by yourself, put your headphones in, use your imagination and just get lost in the stories of the clothes. I go charity shopping quite often. So let me know if you enjoyed this and you would like me to do more of these vlogs. But like, I can't guarantee that they will be as eventful but that's kind of the fun of charity shopping is you never know what you're gonna get. So before I go and take my makeup off and have a goddamn deserved nap, I gotta do some shout outs to a fellow Ipswich YouTuber, Gutmouth. She makes really freaking cool music and I am hoping to steal some for vlogs. Um, if she'll let me. <laughs> awesome, Nico. Thank you so much for what for watching my shiz, um, for creating awesome music, because I have been having a bop along to your sounds. It's right up my street, so keep up the awesome work. And also to Jay, thank you so much, Jay, for your support. You are literally amazing. Both of you are amazing. And Cherise, you are amazing. But Jay, thank you so much for your support, and thank you for watching, and thank you for your words of encouragement, and just for being there and being you. This is for all three of you guys. You are literally, how's the other way? How do, uh, how's the other way of doing it? Hold up, hold up. I saw it on TikTok. How did Gen Z do it? 
this is like impossible. Is it like that? Because I have crab claws. I can't, that's like impossible. I don't know, it's that. If you do it any other way, you are wrong. My space hard. But that is it guys, I think I'm gonna go. Put me on the fireplace, stick a fork up my ass and turn on those sparks. I am done. Thank you so freaking much for watching. I will see you very soon. Let me know if I have inspired you just a little bit, just a little bit to do some charity shopping. And if I have, let me know what you found, what you find, what you found, because I love this shiz. It's in my DNA. It's in my DNA. D -d -d DNA. If you can't get out to charity shops or your local charity shops are just naff, or they're all on their lunch break, check out Vinted. Vinted is my new obsession. Everything is so freaking cheap on there. And pop your Vinted names down below and like maybe a, the sort, sort of thing that you sell. Now let's share that reusable love. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you very, very soon with another video. Much love boobs, take care of yourself. And most of all, I need a nap. <laughs> Stay weird.